going on, guys? <laughs> I didn't tell you we were going to record. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. Record. Well, this is the inaugural video yeah. of our new YouTube channel, Sexy Sense. <laughs> My name is Ryan. My name is Anthony. And this is Corona. I don't know if you met him. Um, it's going to be our best friend today. <laughs> so, yeah we're, yeah, we're just starting this fucking fragrance YouTube review thing. I'm interested in seeing how it goes. So today we're going to do a review of Galloway. Fucking Galloway, by bro. By Parfum de Merle. The story about this bottle is that, as you can see, I've got Jeremy Fragrance's uh, autograph in the back. We went to his NYC event uh, two months ago, and I, bought, I caught this bottle. He signed it. I'm going to spray it on this random guy's business card that I got the other day. Um, Valentin Flores. He's a photographer. Hit up Valentine if you need pictures, I guess. That's <laughs> great. Right. Half of that went on my fingers. Alright. See? Alright, take that shit. Don't say anything. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> 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 and by the way, this is not the first time we're smelling this. Like we both smelled it before, but it's just like well, this is the first time we're really like oh okay. God, like, oh what my is it? God! Oh my God! Hold on, hold on, hold on! I'm not that good. Dude, all right. There's so many. All right, all right. There's so many things coming to mind right now. Hope you guys are enjoying the video of us sniffing our fucking. One more, just one more, and I'm gonna get home. All right, <clears throat> manly, fucking manly as shit, and universal as hell. This is the kind of fragrance where you go walk, you go walk into the fucking office, and you know, you, you, you're gonna be pulling the bitches in the office, bro. Dude, you're gonna pull <laughs> bitches in the office, and when you're having sex with one of those bitches <laughs> in the office at nighttime, you could put one spray of this. Your sex be that much better, bro. <laughs> Oh, you do. Oh my. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Shit. See, I don't have a bottle. Every time I come to his house, I spray it on. But like, he does, by the way. But like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Hey, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm pretty sure. Fuck, dude. If I use this much amount of the spray of the cologne, then he used the, like this. So you see how much I've used. <laughs> <laughs> like, this bottle is light already. This is really good. Like, all right. I don't know where to start. I know for a fact. Right. See, I, I don't, I don't want to get too wild to no breakdowns and shit because, like, because when you're walking down the street, the, the, the girl isn't going to pass by and you're like, oh, I love the sandalwood. No, yeah, it's not going to be like that. Per, that. that patchouli is like a patchouli. Is just like <laughs> exactly. No through the roof. Well, like, oh. But I will say when it comes to notes, I know it has some iris in it. Iris is uh, popular in Dior Home. Iris is popular in Prada Home. Iris is just popular in most fresh fragrances, period. But this shit, but in this, it doesn't smell like makeup. This shit, it it's, it's masked, it's masked in along with whatever the fuck else is in there. It's like, nice. you know, when you smell, when you smell Galloway, like if you're walking down the street, someone passing you with this on, you know that it's a very unique DNA. 100%. Exactly. Here's the thing, like, you're not gonna smell like fucking Chad in HR. That's wearing Dior Sauvage. Like, see, see this shit. Nobody, like, this is what Chad wears. Dior Sauvage. But this is what you should be wearing. Fucking, fucking the Yeah, Cali. man. And we only <laughs> tell you about the sexiest fucking fragrance out there. So, duh, you should fucking wear it. Common sense. <laughs> Common sense, sexy sense, bro. Mm, mm. Uh, you could wear this dressed up, but at the same time. If you wear like a white tee or like a black tee kind of thing, very casual, but like exactly, sharp, it's definitely it's nice. definitely a casual set in my experience. Um, however, it could definitely work in a formal setting. Uh, now, now to get into like the, the the shit you probably hear about, projection on this is pretty dank in the first hour. I because I, I I know because so I know I'll be I pick up Anthony and the whip. Oh, you know, yeah. we're going to the, going to the liquor store. <laughs> you know, and he'd be like Galloway, and he he just walk in the car. He he knows I'm wearing it. See, that's like the first like 
maybe like two hours, even three, depending on how much you spread. I tend to go for four sprays for this one. But um, I, I, I did five today actually. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. It, the longevity is very good there. I'd say for, for me personally, it lasts about, I'd say eight hours is the sweet spot. Eight hours definitely the spot. Yeah, I said I guess six to I guess six to eight hours on this one. Um, it's good, man. Like, you know, here's the thing. As the entrepreneur said, it doesn't fucking matter how long it lasts, as long as you use it for the right thing. If you're rocking this to work, your shifts, you know, you're gonna you're working for eight hours. This is gonna last you the entire time. Oh yeah. If you're going, if you're going, you know, if you're hanging, you're going on a date, which you could totally, you know, this is a good date fragrance in the summer and spring, especially. Oh yeah. The day's only gonna be four hours long. You know, if you get the honey and veil, be in uh, two hours maybe. Fucking right. Or one minute, depending on who you are. <laughs> but, but you know, that shit lasts you the entire time. So, uh, so um, longevity on this is good. Uh, you know, and the projection for the first hour, it's banging. It kind of dies down a little bit into a nice skin scent. But, you know, all you got, all you need is for her to get close, and then you're straight. You know? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Yo, wait, pass me that bottle. Pass me the bottle. Pass me the bottle. Yeah. I need to point something out. Yeah. About all fucking fragrances of this. This. Wait, yeah, like, let me get that. Let me get that. Well, cat? Yeah. All right. First thing. The fucking cap, man. The cap <laughs> is about as heavy as the bottle itself, if not. Yo, if you threw that, heavier. if you threw that cap at somebody, you Dude, would fuck them up. You would actually put them in a hospital. Like if you throw shit, like, Ugh, just, <laughs> that's it. But this is very like. It's so fucking heavy, dude. When you take the cap off the bottle itself, just like half the weight is gone. Like the cap is it's fucking insane. I mean, it looks very nice, very clean, sleek looking. It's exactly. it I just think, looks sexy, bro. Come I think, on, I can't think, deny it. I think within the fragrance community, um, when it comes to parfums and Marley, people definitely like the Callaway bottle the best. It's just it's matte finish, it's sleek, and we all know half the reason you buy fragrance is for the fucking bottle. I mean, why why else would you buy fragrance to be honest? Mm-hmm. The bottle is fucking sexy. Like why like like. Why would I buy this boring ass Aqua Di Gio? The bottle is fucking lame, man. It just says Aqua Di Gio. <laughs> but this shit, oh, this shit, man, this, this shit got fucking horses on it, bro. Jesus so that's how you Christ. know that it was worth the $170 admission. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself here. <laughs> it's so fucking good, dude. And with that said, I think I want to give this a rating of uh, sexy. What do you think? Definitely sexy. Sexy. All right. It's- uh, on a, uh, for you guys, on a normal rate, on a normal scale, I'd say from one to ten, give it a good eight point five. Honestly, eight point five out of ten is definitely the way to go. Definitely I'd, the way to go with this. I would give it a, I would give it an eight personally. Well, I'd say eight point five maybe. Yeah, just because it's not because I feel like with an eight is a really good fragrance, but this is slightly above that, so I give it the eight point five. All right, well. let's let's jump. Listen, I'm gonna go with versatility. Definitely like a like a nine, 100% like a nine. I'd say longevity, way up there, another nine. Um, compliments, to be honest, I've only seen one compliment of all the times I've worn it, so I give it like a seven. But um, if I give it more time, it'd definitely go up. But this is definitely a sexy fragrance, 100%, man, 100%. It's good shit. Yeah, so basically, it's sexy scent approved. Mm-hmm. 100% to be sexy, so you guys know what to do. At, le- at the very least, you owe it to yourself to check out a sample, go on fragrance net or decan shop, whatever. Get a fucking sample of this. Check it out. It's a really good freshie, and it's gonna it's gonna do you good. So, with that said, I'm Ryan. I'm Anthony. I'm gonna walk this camera and shut this bitch off. Peace.